children welcome back to public speaking now we have already seen how to what is public speaking why do we need public speaking um how do we actually understand our audience so on and so forth now we are going to take a deep dive inside public speaking before i start today's lesson i'm going to tell you three secrets now you must be wondering why am i talking about secrets we are talking about secrets because if you master these three secrets no you will become an awesome awesome speaker now what are these three secrets i call these three c's c c for cat so i've got three c's that will make you awesome speaker now what are these three c's the first c is content the content the speech that you're going to deliver the second c is communication how are you going to deliver this speech how are you going to communicate it to your audience the third c is confidence so i call it a pyramid okay so it's a pyramid like this the base of the pyramid has two c's content and communication the moment this particular uh, base is strong you've a very solid content and your communication is awesome you rise to become a confident speaker so the third c which is confidence which you see here become a confident speaker the confidence is a by product of content and communication now what we are going to do today in this lesson is understand the first c and choose a topic deliberate on your topic research on your topics so on and so forth so this topic speech everything combined together becomes your content so now we are going to see how to choose our topic because if the content if the speech has to be delivered we have to first think about what are we going to talk on what is my topic what is it that i'm going to write in my speech so in this entire lesson of content we are going to see the speech writing okay so we'll start with the first thing and that is choosing your topic so how do we choose our topic what kind of topic should we go ahead with now i will give you seven step formula for choosing your topic the first step that you see here identify the nature of the speaking event now you remember i had told you in in the first lesson what is it what is the event that you are participating in is it elocution is it extempore is it debate competition is it go as you like is it uh, just an event a formal event a casual event you are celebrating someone's birthday you are called as a as a special guest you never know so you will have to choose your topic depending on the event that you are going to participate in what is this event that i'm going to participate in all right now once you have decided this event or once you are sure of the event that you're going to participate in you will have to choose your topic so remember the first step in choosing your topic is identifying the event where you're going to go and speak so number one step is identifying the event that you're going to speak in moving on to the second step now the second step you've already seen you remember i had talked about audience who is my audience what kind of audience am i talking to what are their likes dislikes what is the demography what is the age what are the interests all these things we've already checked we've already seen so the second step in your choosing the topic is you have to analyze your audience do a proper thorough research about your audience and all these steps have already been touched upon in our lesson number 3 wherein we'll have to literally deep dive and understand our audience so number 2 the second step in choosing my topic is i'll have to do an audience analysis or audience research fair enough now let's move on and see what is the third step and very interesting actually what is my third step and it's all about me now i have uh, i have to think about my topic i have to deliver my speech so i have done i have understood the event that i'm going to participate in i have done an audience analysis now it's all about me what is it that i'm going to think about is my personal interests okay my interests my knowledge my experiences this is one of the toughest thing you know choosing a topic because delivery and all that we can work upon but one of the mo most important and first step is what am i going to talk on all right 
So, uh, it's very confusing also. Many children have come back and asked me that, ma'am, we are confident of speaking, but we don't know what to talk on. Okay? So, this content thing that I'm talking about, even before you write your speech, if you have to decide on what topic I have to choose, you will have to first think about yourself. And you remember I had told you all about that positive things that you have to talk about you, talk to yourself. This will help you there. Okay? Now, I will have to identify, since it's my speech, my delivery, I will identify my interests, my knowledge, my experiences. All right, I will I'll help you with examples, do not worry. So what is the experience that I have had all these years, depending on the age that I'm in currently? What is my experience? What is the knowledge? What is the exposure that I have got? What are my beliefs? What are my faiths? When I talk about myself first, that myself will actually give me talking points to identify my topic. So let's just sit for some time and think what am I, uh, what do I believe in? What are my beliefs, faiths? What is it that I love to do? What are my interests, values? Okay, now um, think, think in your mind and just jot down what are my interests, what are my values, what are my beliefs, what is it that I am um, good at, what is it that I want to show to people, want to talk to people about. Just jot down those points. All right, this is going to help you in coming at the topic that you are going to give a speech on. All right, so number third step is think about your interests, beliefs and all that and that will help you in, in coming to a concise format of your topic. All right, now moving on, what is the fourth step and very interesting step again. Now that I have identified my interests, my beliefs, my knowledge and everything, what am I going to do no, next? identify any relevant latest news. Now, let's take an example. Um, let's say my knowledge, my belief, my faith is about environment and it's a broader topic. Okay. Let's say I have, I have done a lot of deep diving. I have done a lot of introspection. I have talked to myself and I have uh, identified that why not uh, discuss something with my audience on environment. Okay. So, depending on my beliefs and my faith and all that, I have come to a broader topic which is environment okay now that i've decided that environment is something that i can talk on i'll have to identify relevant and latest news what is happening current news current affairs on environment this environment i have taken okay you can choose your own uh, topic i mean you can narrow down depending on your beliefs and your faith it's, it's your belief your faith your knowledge your skill i am just giving you an example of taking a broader topic called environment. Now, what, what do I do? I uh, maybe tune into some news channels or maybe just, just think and talk among my friends, my family and find out what is it that is happening in this particular sector or in this particular broader topic called environment. What is it that people are discussing about? What is it that news channels are talking about? What is it the whole world is talking about when it comes to environment? Okay, So, we have to be identifying relevant and latest news on the set of beliefs, knowledge, whatever we have identified for ourselves. And in my case, I am talking about environment. Now, this was step number four. Let's go ahead and look at the next few steps. Step number five, and again, interesting. This entire topic is very interesting. Choosing your topic, the topic itself is very interesting. Number five, brainstorm all possible ideas. Now, if environment is my uh, broader topic and I have looked at the latest news and happenings that's there in the in news, in, in journals, in magazines, in books, so on and so forth, I'm going to brainstorm all possible ideas related to my topic. Now, if environment is that what I'm discussing about, I will do a brainstorming session. First, I'll do it with myself. Then I'll take help from my family, friends, siblings, whoever I can have an access to brainstorm on whatever possible ideas I can come up with. Now, as I told you, environment is a very, very broad topic. Okay, Environment can be your natural environment, it could be a social environment, it could be political environment, it could be anything. So, it's, it's a very, very broad topic. Natural environment could be air, water, our atmosphere, okay, earth, Anything could be a uh, natural environment, uh, rivers, oceans. So, if water, under water, you could have rivers, oceans, water bodies, lakes, ponds. Okay. Uh, and in water also, you can talk about rains, clouds. 
so there could be n number of uh, topics related to environment and that too under one sub topic called water or let's say natural environment now if i talk if i have to think about political environment what is it that i'm going to think about again so political environment am i talking about india's political environment am i talking about the state i am in if let's say i am in maharashtra am i talking about maharashtra's political environment am i talking about the the region i am in or the village i am in or the town i am from am i talking about that political environment so environment is a very broad broad topic you cannot as a speaker touch upon all aspects of environment so for that reason you will do a brainstorming session with people who are your close to people who can help you with your teachers your friends your peers and brainstorm on all the possible ideas that you can think of related to your beliefs faiths and knowledge all right let's move on and see if i have uh, done a brain uh, already done a brainstorming session what is it next for me and this is all about what by what are we discussing choosing a topic okay now moving on step number 6 now that i have done lot of brainstorming like i gave you an example of environment natural environment political environment social environment so on and so forth what am i going to do next i am going to make a short list of possible topics okay now environment is the broader heading under environment let's say i have identified three political social natural now under political again i will identify the all the possible headings under natural i'll identify all the possible topics under social i'll identify all the possible topics so i will do a list of possible topics that i can choose from from the broader topic called environment i hope i have made myself clear so when you in our subsequent sessions we will see how to do this actually so there is a concept called mind mapping through which we can do this but for now for this sessions uh, understanding just make it um, clear in your mind that we will have to choose a broader topic and then do a brainstorming and after we have done a brainstorming session we can prepare a list now this list could go up to let's say 10 or let's say 20 depending on how much brainstorming you've done so as i told you under natural itself if i'm writing natural if i've decided that natural is my um, under environment natural is the topic that i'm going to choose under natural i could have several segregations okay i could have water i could have earth all right i could have uh, mountains all right i could have environment okay so this can only come into picture when i am doing making a list so this list is very important do not just jump into a topic and start preparing on that do the soul searching first write all these topics first and then you decide on which particular topic we are i'm going to talk on so i hope this step is clear which is our step number 6 now we'll move on and see the last step what are we going to do now now that we have done this uh, entire topic list we have prepared for we are going to take a decision or make a decision and this is very important okay what uh, normally children do adults also for that matter do is let's say under environment i have an under natural environment i have chosen uh, water i have decided okay water is something that i am i'm going to write a speech on now after some time Uh, after i have done some i have proceeded uh, with water all of a sudden i realize no i'm not getting good points let me take social environment into picture so if you do not stick and commit to your own topic you will falter because what happens you know you have already fine tuned and made up your mind to talk on water but all of a sudden you decide no i will not talk on water i'll choose something else so half of the thing that you've already done is a waste first thing second is you are you are not making up your mind and you are confused so you will have to first decide what is it that you're going to talk on okay so be committed towards the topic that you have chosen okay so follow all these seven steps and this is just choosing your topic all right not uh, preparing for your speech yet this is just choosing your topic and one of the most important steps before you deliver your speech so follow these seven steps do this we will uh, this is an exercise that you need to do follow these seven steps and come to your broader topics that you can choose from okay we will meet in the next uh, less uh, next section and we are going to see now that we have chosen our topic 
how do we research on that topic and prepare for our speech so i'll see you on the other side thank you for watching